Hello everybody, this is Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series. And today we are starting our month off um, talking to men in the community who are making a difference. That is what our theme of the month is going to be. So I hope that you will join us and um, as we talk to different men this month. Our lineup for this month is starting today on the 1st. It's going to be Cedric Sanders, founder and owner of 303 Creatives and the Framley um, organization. For next week, we are going to be talking to Andrew Thor Angelico, who is a musician. On the 15th, we are going to be talking to Jonathan Coleman of Blacktopia. On the 22nd, we have an open slot if you're interested in being featured on the Speak Up and Inspire series. And on the 29th, we are going to be talking to the ultimate host, Mr. Nuff Said. So please make sure that you enjoy, um, enjoy us <laughs> talking to men this month about what they are doing in the community, how they're making a difference, and different topics that are related to your businesses, your family, and the community. Tonight, we are going to be talking to Cedric. He, as I said, is the owner of 303 Creators, and he is also the founder of Framley. He, okay, he just created, <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just uh, corrected me and said creatives. Did I say that? Oh, sorry. Sorry. So we're going to be talking to Cedric tonight about his business, 303 Creatives. And he is also the founder or co-founder of Framley. Would you like to join us, sir? <laughs> I just wanted to take the time to ask all of you for a moment to go into your website link or to remember this website, electcharlesrobinson.com. Um, the reason for that is because Mr. Charles Robinson is running right now for the um, City Council in District 4. Um, Mr. Charles has been very helpful um, in supporting me and my community efforts as an advocate for domestic violence and sexual assault, but also working in the community um, with children, bringing awareness to different causes um, that are in the community that our children need to be involved in. Our children need to be aware of what's going on in our communities. They need to understand um, the different subjects that affect them and their families, um, but also just to get the kids um, more active in the community, um, giving back to the community, doing things in the community to help others, um, having an appreciation for what it looks like to um, be an advocate themselves, but also to learn how to advocate advocate for things that are very important to them. So Mr. Robinson has um, supported me with the Butterfly Visions Project. He's also been supportive here with the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, Mr. Robinson also has been um, involved with the various youth foundations in the community, um, within the churches, um, so many different ways that he's been helping the community. So please go to electcharlesrobinson.com to learn more about him. Um, if you are looking to put somebody in office in the community that is going to uh, support you, that is going to have your best interest at heart, who is active in his community. He's not just sitting behind a desk um, delegating. He is in the community, getting his hands dirty, um, meeting everyone, talking to people, helping people. And this is the man that you want to elect. Mr. Charles Robinson, he is, again, running for City Council District 4. If you go to elect, electcharlesrobinson.com, you will go under the Meet Charles app to learn all about him. Sorry, tab to learn all about him. Um, very briefly, I'm going to look at it myself and just read off a couple of things to you. Um, one, Charles Robinson is a native of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and it says that he is a true link to the community, which is true. I have witnessed this for myself because he's been out in the community with me, um, working with kids in the community. So I know this to be true myself. Um, he is also the founder and executive director of One Time Inc. and has been working in the community for more than a decade with various organizations. Um, it says that he is a licensed notary public, 
Notary Public, a North Carolina peer support specialist nominated for the Mayor's Mentoring Alliance Award for Mentor of the Year in 2018, was a Black Man Rock recipient in 2019 for his commitment to community, and was awarded by CUC 100 at Humanitarian Certificate for his continuing support and meeting the community right where it is. So if you are looking for a man that is all about the community, that is going to get in the community right beside you, holding your hand, giving you hugs, strengthening you, encouraging you, doing what he can to strengthen the community, to make a difference in the community, you want to check out Charles Robinson. Charles Robinson is running for city council. Um, and he has his website, electcharlesrobinson.com. I know that he has many um, things that are going on right now. There are some needs in the community that you can help with. Um, he has several events that are coming up that you can be a part of. So if you have a background in um, working with uh, campaigns, public campaigns, uh, city council campaigns, or if you want to try, try to do something um, to help get people elected that deserve to be in office, then this could be an opportunity for you. So again, electcharlesrobinson.com. You can find out the ways that you can help. You can find out the ways that you can support. You can also find out the ways that you can get to know him personally to help his campaign. I promise you that you will not regret it, that it will be something that um, will be a great journey for you. Um, your organization is going to want to be behind him because he's a good man. I know that personally, I've met him personally, I've worked beside him personally. So again, when you get a chance, please go to electcharlesrobinson.com, read about him, see what his efforts are, see what it is that he's gonna be targeting in our communities and support this, this brother. electcharlesrobinson.com. I'm also gonna put it in the comments. So, <laughs> right now we are going to go ahead and talk to Mr. Cedric Sanders, um, who, again, is the owner of 303 Creatives and founder of Framley. <laughs> All right, so here is Mr. Cedric. Mr. Cedric is the owner of, tell us your, what your resume says. Your resume. Give us your resume. Um, yeah, I'm Cedric Sanders, uh, freelance graphic designer. Uh, I went to Art Institute of Charlotte. If you guys are from here, you know where Art, Art Institute of Charlotte is, uh, where the old Coliseum is. I got my associate's degree there in graphic design uh, back in 2006. And you know, as soon as I got out of school, I immediately started doing design. Um, I am the owner of 303 Creatives. That's my own graphic design company. So I do logos, flyers, business cards, banners, t-shirt design. I don't offer printing, but I'm big in networking. So I stay close with my networking. So I know plenty of people that print. So I try to keep it close. Um, I'm also the uh, one of the founding members in, uh, of family, which is friends that are like family. Um, it's a group of friends we got together a long time ago. And uh, the idea was we were hanging out, everybody was from somewhere different and we wanted to feel like friend, like family. You know, when we were hanging out, this was my brother, this was my sister, you know, we was doing everything together. So then, you know, if this person has an event, we were all going and supporting. So it really felt like family. So even when the holidays came around and, and you didn't have the funds to go to see your family, if you wasn't from here, you know, there was somebody here that was doing something and you could be welcome in their home, just like you was a brother, sister, you know, uncle, cousin, whatever. Um, so I'm also uh, doing a lot of design work for my mom, um, for a lot of people in my family. I'm also the uh, creative uh, marketing director for Butterfly Business Projects. So I do all the graphics for Butterfly Business Projects. That's the t-shirt designs, uh, the promos that you see online. Um, also a uh, creative director for Vibes Over Everything. Um, so the t-shirt uh, line from uh, Miss Tiffany here. Um, so uh, 
hands a lot. I try to keep my hands in a lot. Um, so uh, yeah, that's 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 my resume. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's start off with telling us about um, three hundred three creatives. What inspired you to do so and tell us what your experience is and what exactly do you provide as far as services? Okay, so um, the idea behind 303 Creatives was that um, creativity grows through all of us. And so um, this was back in 2005. I was still in art school uh, with my roommate and we decided to launch this business together. Um, so, you know, the stuff that we were learning in school, we put it to good use and actually started doing work for people, for clients. Um, and it just kind of took off from there. Um, at some point, you know, my roommate, you know, kind of went off on his own thing, whatever. So I just kind of took the company and kind of made it my own and just kind of kept going with it because it was a dream of mine. So, um, the 303 is actually the apartment number where we actually started working on design work. So that's where the 303 comes from. Um, so like I said, I've been doing graphic design work for 14, 15 years now. And um, so, you know, and you can look at the, the work, you can look at my progress of my work and you can see that every year, you know, it, it gets better, you know, I learn more, you know, I try to stay in tune with what's going on right now. Um, so um, that's kind of where it's at. Um, I try to keep, uh, going as much as possible. Um, I would say the, the big difference between me and other freelance designers or graphic artists out, um, for one, I, I started drawing when I was five years old. So um, art has kind of been in my blood. So, you know, I just kind of take that and I go with it. So it's, it's, it's something that's passionate of mine. So it's not just me creating a logo for an individual, you know, I want to also support the idea and the brand that you are creating. So um, I have a questionnaire that I always give out as soon as uh, um, a client wants to work with me, you know, we do a deposit first, but um, I ask simple questions like, uh, you know, what's the, the description of your business? What are you trying to do? Who are you trying to target? Who is your competition? What, what do you really want to do? And so um, you can ask this. It's probably a few of my clients that's watching right now. And you can ask them. Um, I stay on you. You know, it's, it's, it's not just that I do your work and I send you on your way. Um, I give you homework. I check up on you. I, I come back back to you. You know, it's, there's a lot that comes with, you know, branding yourself. You know, you have this idea for this business. Oh, you know, you want to be a chef. And so, you know, you're, you're providing a service, you know, you can cook really well, but there's so much more to it than just what you do. You still have to reach out to the people that don't know that you cook good food, you know, just an example. So um, uh, I, I try to, to stay, you know, say neck and neck with who I'm working with. So it's, it's, it's not just about what I'm doing for you. I want to try to support you and help you as much as possible. I want to prepare you for what you have next. So that's, I think that's the biggest difference between me and everybody else. Okay. So the topic for tonight is the importance of branding. Can you first tell us what it, what branding is? So um, branding is, for the most part, it's, it's the foundation of your business. Um, to go back to what I was saying before, if you provide a service or a product, okay, you know what that service is, you know what it does, you know what that product is, and you know what it does. Obviously, you know, if you're doing that and you're starting your own business, you've done your research as far as who else is doing it, you know, you're, you're probably trying to do it different than the other people are doing it so that you can, you know, stay relevant and, and you can compete. Um, but you, again, you have to be able to reach those people that you can't normally reach. Um, this is why it's big on networking as well. So, you know, to the, 
people that know you, that know the service that you're doing, that know the product that you have, they're going to support you. Obviously, they already know about the product. But the big question mark is, what about the other people that don't know you, that don't know this service, that don't know this product? Why should they pick you? You know, and so this is uh, when you're working on the visual part of of your company, of what you're doing. You know, so um, there's there's a lot of different things that go into play for that. Um, it could be um, color is a big thing. Um, a lot of people don't think that you know that really matters. Oh, you know, I want my logo to be red because that's my favorite color. You know, that's great, but you know, in the graphic world, the colors also stand for something too. Certain colors will reach more people than other colors. Certain colors have a feeling or whatever. So it's the same thing with fonts. It's the same thing with uh, icons. So um, you really got to do your research. You got to think about what else is out there, you know, and I always ask that question when I'm starting with the client, you know, do your research, you know, what I'm saying who's your competition, you know, look at what they're doing. What are you going to do different? What can you do different? Um, I have a, a client right now, and shout out to um, Lisa Mullis uh, with Women Reaching Higher. And, you know, I know it, it kind of get on her nerves a little bit, but I stay on her about her marketing with her design. Now, I did her logo. It's great. She got it on T-shirts. Um, it's it's a, a group of women, you know, for uplifting. They, they do a lot of events and stuff like that. They do a lot of stuff in the community. So, you know, I... I ask her, now you have the logo, okay? You put it on shirts, that's great. You know, so all of your volunteers got shirts, that's awesome. Okay, but what else can you put this logo on so that you can reach everybody? You want to get to a point where when people see it, they know exactly who you are and they know exactly what you do. So when they see it, it's like, oh, I know who that is. Oh, I know them. Oh, they do this, they do that. You know, so it's it's about getting it out there as much as possible to the point where people are tired of seeing it. You know, if you look out right now, the Walmart logo has changed over the years. But when you see that yellow asterisk sign, everybody knows that's Walmart. When you see the Nike check, everybody knows that is Nike. When you see the, the Target dots, everybody knows that's Target. You don't even it don't even have to say Target. It doesn't have to say Walmart. It doesn't have to say Nike. You know that stuff because you see it so much. And so I push that on all my clients. You know what can you do to get out there as best as possible? And it's and and it's not always the same thing for everybody. It depends on the product and the service that you're providing. When my brother had his food truck, he had a seafood food truck, and that was very different whenever he first came out with it. You know, there wasn't a lot of people that had it, especially in the area that he was in. So I asked him the same thing. I'm like, what can we put the logo on that ties everybody back to your business? Okay, you can cook. You can cook very well. You're offering seafood off a food truck, and that's great. Okay, how else can we get you out to everybody else? So, you know, of course, people want business cards. They want to get business cards for their business. They have flyers they want to put out for their business. Um, and, you know, that's the top two things, of course, whatever, besides T-shirts, you know, to get out, to get out there to the world with their business. However, you want, that's, that's everything inside the box. I tell everybody to look outside the box, go a little bit further. What else can you do? to reach out to people. So with my brother's business, I told him, I was like, we're gonna take that business card, we're gonna make it a magnet. And so between the two of us, got the magnets, okay? The magnets was with you know a purchase of $20 or more. They got magnets in the bag, okay? First thing that you think of when you get your plate from this food truck, okay, you're gonna eat, you're hungry, you wanna smash the food, that's great. And you have this magnet. Now, the difference between somebody handing you a business card, somebody handing you a magnet. Okay, the business card, nine times out of 10, you're gonna put it in your pocket, your purse, wherever. Some people, they might throw it away. Okay, but if you have a magnet, nine times out of 10, people do what with a magnet? They put it on their fridge, okay? Now it's on their fridge. When they go to the fridge, they are hungry. 
what do they do? They go to the fridge, they open the door. What's on the door? The magnet. So if they're hungry and they don't know what they want and they see that magnet and it says seafood food truck, okay, now it's like, hmm, I forgot about them. Let me check them out. Let me give them a call. It's that much more of getting out to these people out there. So, I mean, like I said, it all depends on the service that you're providing. So with Lisa, I asked her, you know, what else can you do for the women that you're reaching out to? What else can you put the logo on? Um, I, Vista Print is kind of a double-edged sword to me, but they do really good with the marketing and getting your business out there. So, you know, you'll go on Vista Print and you might order something and they'll say, hey, do you want this coffee mug, this Frisbee, this pen, this mouse pad, you know, anything to get out there, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? In, in her business in particular, it's like, we want to focus on the giveaways. What can these women take away with them, but to keep them coming back at the same time? So it's like now they got this gift bag with these giveaways. The bag has the logo on it. So they're going to constantly be thinking about this logo. The pen inside has the logo on it. So now they're writing with this pen that says women reaching higher on it. So they're going to be thinking about this business. So um, I, I strongly push that on every client. And it's always different with every client. So it's just something to think about, you know, what I'm saying more ways to get out there. Because if you're providing a service or a product and your service is, is, is really good or your product, is really good, that, that's, you know, you're going to get people. But how do you get them? What's the, the, the fishing hook? And the bait, how do you get them to come in first? So, okay. So I, I see that you have um, a couple samples with you, but first, um, what is your website? Because I know that you have a website um, and you also have a Facebook page. So what is your website? And then what is your Facebook page? So people can start to see some of your work. Okay, so, um, my website, uh, and it's it probably 